Hello everyone and welcome. It's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in southwestern Ontario, Canada, and I'd like to welcome you to my Wednesday evening Facebook Live. I am just looking for me on my page. Why are you not showing up? Oh, there we are. All right, I need to just make sure that my lighting is okay and that we are um, looking good. All right, so welcome. Please say hello when you join me. Let me know where you're coming from. I love to hear from you. Um, if you're watching uh, live, welcome. If this is the first time you're watching me, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. If you're watching the replay, welcome. This is my Facebook Live. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're definitely watching the replay. Um, the coordinating blog post for tonight's video will be uh, in my um, links in my YouTube um Low upload in about half an hour. I just need to download the video once I'm done and then um, insert it into my blog post that's ready to go that has all of the measurements and the products that I used. I just want to start out by saying I still have spots for my creative escape because I've had to move the date to um, the first Saturday in February. I've had um, a few of my regulars already had um, plans, so they are not able to attend. So I have spots available. If you like to get together and uh, craft with friends, have some fun, uh, socialize, craft along all day long and not worry about food or stopping to cr make food or anything like that, then this is for you. Um, it is on Saturday, February 3rd, and it is here in Strathroy, Ontario. All of the details um, for this will be found on my blog. I've talked about this before, so please reach out if you would like to reserve a spot with your uh, friends. Come um, January the um, 4th, I believe is when the new mini catalog comes um, out, there will be no refunds as uh, I've already ordered product. Um, so just be aware of that. Okay, I also have spots available for my um, Fluffiest Friends class. It closes on um, the 13th, so that is next Monday. So in this class, there's three options. Um, one of the options is with the bundle. One of the options is just the stamp set. And then the final option is just the projects. So with all of your options, you're gonna get um, the supplies to create all five projects. Um, this ships anywhere in Canada. So, um, you can live anywhere in Canada and um, take part in my class. All the details are on my website as well. This I have a in-person on uh, Tuesday, December. Oh my gosh, you know, it's been a day. Tuesday, December the 5th, I believe it is. It's in, it, like I said, it's in my blog. Yesterday, the um, online exclusives were um, released to everybody, meaning that anybody can order as long as they're in stock um, from the online store. So if you're shopping in my online store, please use this month's host code with orders under $200. That's before tax and shipping. Once your order hits that $200 mark, um, before tax and shipping, you're going to get your own reward, so don't use the code. Good evening, ladies. Uh, Amy, Lori, Carol. So tonight we're using some products from the um, online exclusives. 
I'm creating with the Garden Meadow bundle. I'm also using the Deckled Circle dies. Now my card used the adhesive back um, dragonflies and birds. These are not available right now. So tonight's card, we're going to use the brushed brass butterflies. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Hello, Melissa. Um, yes. Yeah, so everybody's been, I've been seeing all kinds of adorable um, rocker cards. So this is what I created. Now with a rocker card, all you need is uh, circle dies, big enough circle dies so that it's not a teeny tiny little card. So all this is, is the, I used the second largest circle die to create um, the base. And then the third largest is, I've cut it in half, it's five inches. So half is on the inside and the other half is on the front. So cute. And I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but I also put some lovely wink of Stella on that. So when you're using whatever circle dies you have, just make sure that that card, um, you've got an envelope that it's gonna fit into. That's the only um, thing you need to worry about. So, but my first attempt at a uh, rocker card, and oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I thought the wheelbarrow would be adorable because of when you're using a wheelbarrow, like kind of the motion. So I thought that was fun. You could use this for a baby card or lots of other um, ideas. So for tonight's card too, I think I might leave off the hello and just have the happy birthday on the inside. So let's get stamping. Okay, so here's my die cut pieces. As well, I've got my thick basic white. So this is Azure Afternoon, thick basic white, and just regular basic white. And my blends, I've got a lot of blends here because it's flowers so let's gather them all up I have lemon lolly lemon lime twist azure afternoon uh, melon mambo gray granite and then just the light basic black for the handles and the wheel of the um, wheelbarrow so have you guys made rocker cards? I know Carol has made one because um, that's what inspired me. She posted Carol's um, not only my sweet uh, little sister, but she's also a team member. And every month we uh, have a team challenge for a creative challenge. And every month is a different theme. So this month was is Christmas. So she created a super cute uh, card using um, the Berry Christmas set. Okay, so there's our wheelbarrow. So let's move that to the side for a moment to dry. Let's take one of these and I've got my, um, they look like lupins or sorry, delphiniums, one or the other, but, um, whatever I'm coloring them. I wanted a pink flower. So, and I don't want it like, I think it would look strange all the way up. So I kind of have it so that it is, let's straighten this out. And stamp right to the side there so that we've got that little bit. We've got some birthdays coming up around here, so I'm gonna have to make a few more birthday cards. So that's why I decided to uh, do this birthday card, and the weather here is miserable. It was just pouring earlier. It's um, 
was kind of freezing rain earlier. It just cold, wet, gross. <laughs> so we're going to set that aside for the moment. So I thought, you know what? I want to um, do something florally to perk up how I'm feeling. Okay, so I have my blending brush and my ink pad. And are you ready to leave this cold, Melissa, on your lovely family trip? All right, so you can see there we have. Is that uh, going to pick that up? I've got... Um, my ink there so and I'm going to start in the center so that if it does leave a smudge my wheelbarrow is going to cover it and I wanted to use the blending brush so that it wasn't a stark white background and I couldn't find a DSP that I liked the look of to put in behind so that's why I thought well let's grab my blending brush and color that background so with the blending brush you can go as heavy or as light as you want Just trying to get it fairly even. And I like to move it around so that I'm not always coming at the paper with my ink in the exact same spot. And I'm trying to not hold it too much to give it fingerprints or anything because I did use hand lotion a little while ago. I didn't wash my hands since but the oils from that could leave a wonky fingerprint so all right let's see here I want to extend this just a smidge more it's the beauty of having the die, the coordinating die. You can see how it's gonna sit on your card front before you say, I'm done with that ink. Okay. All right, I'm gonna call that done. So I still have a little bit of ink on here, so I'm just gonna come in with my blending brush and pick that up so that there's already ink in here the next time I'm going to use it and I put it on the wet ink, it's going to reactivate that stuff that's in there. Move that out of the way, that out of the way, and I'm gonna take my microfiber cloth just to clean that ink up off my hand. Okay, so let's move that to the side and actually let's bring this back in because of the coloring of this. So I've got my light lemon lime twist. Hello, Jeannie, how are you? Do you have snow where you are? And then I'm gonna come in with my dark, so that was my light, and I'm just gonna come in with my dark and go over where that um, line is in the center, so it's just adding a little bit 
of that um, highlight. And because this is so tiny and the way it's drawn, um, it's not all filled in. But you can see how I kind of filled it in when I was coloring it. So all I'm doing is coming in and I'm just dotting and I'm not being super careful. I don't care if it goes out of those lines a little bit as the lines are not fully formed for the whole flower stem. So I'm going to call that good. And then I'm going to come in with my dark melon mambo. And I'm just going to add a little bit of dark here and there. And I'm going from one side to the other so it's not all um, in the one area. So that it adds a little bit more interest in that. But wait, we're not done. We need to take some beautiful Wink of Stella and come in and color that sparkle over top. If you look at, whoa, this is, I had the heat going. That just bubbled right out. Okay, what can I pick you up with? Um... Let's see here. Oh, I have a tiny little piece. I'm just going to absorb, push that out of the way. This is just an extra sparkly insert. That's going to take a few, <laughs> a few minutes to dry now. All right. So our wheelbarrow with all of the flowers. Has that ever happened to you? Where all of a sudden you're not squeezing it and it just kind of blobs out? Okay, so we are gonna start with the dark gray granite for um, the frame. And my comments keep disappearing. You've got Snow Genie. Oh, your grandson did the shoveling. Nice. Yeah, we had snow on November the 1st. And um, it was gross. <laughs> Not going to lie. It was gross. It was heavy and wet. And then two days later, it was gone. Whoops, and I don't have a, I did not bring, because I'm rushing, I didn't bring my color lifter over. So I will have to clean that up after. Yes, today, my, my post from this morning, today is totally a soup day in our area. Holy macaroni. It is so damp and chilly. I finished that beef vegetable soup that I had made. And I had the last bowl of it for my supper tonight. Okay, and then my wheel. Oh, I forgot right there. Just a minute. Dark. There's no line here. So you're just going to imagine that your handle is there. Because we've got our grip. Okay, and then coloring takes a little bit of time. 
I apologize. I'm not doing any shadowing on this, no shading. I'm just coloring it in. I was at Costco yesterday. Oh my gosh. So crazy. So crazy how busy it is. Um, I was like to my sister, Anne went with me. I'm like, it's Tuesday. Where are all these people coming from? The parking lot was absolutely packed. So they're just coming in here. And filling in. And then I'm going to. So this is the dark Azure afternoon. So I'm just the underneath of that lip. At the very bottom, I'm adding. The darker two. Okay. Coming in with my light. Being careful. And those tips of those leaves are so fine. So have any of you ordered any of the online exclusives yet? Is there one that you absolutely have to have? When I saw that, I don't remember what it's called, the pop one. Oh my gosh, I was like, oh, I need that. I need that in my craft room. It looks so fun. All right, so now we're going to come in with, and I'm just imagining here in these open areas that that is greenery. I'm just kind of taking creative license with that area and just filling it in with my lemon lime twist. You may feel that it might be more flowers and fill it in with the color of the flower, but I'm thinking, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be leaves. Almost done this. All right. Now coming in. You ordered the fluffiest friends bundle for yourself and the stamp set for your niece. Oh, how fun. Is that going to be a Christmas present for your niece? I'm just adding a little dark here and there, just so it's not all the same tone. Okay, now let's come in with our lemon lolly. And so the centers are the dark. 
I'll look up for comments once I'm done here. All right. And now I'm just going over it with the light. Almost. There we go. Now our melon mambo flowers. So that's the stuff in the center. So I'm starting and I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm coming in and just kind of dotting it, filling in that area because I'm like imagining it's like a whole riot of color. Okay, almost done. I need some new show recommendations. What are you guys watching? I saw trailers for a couple of the shows that Brad and I watch coming back. Slow Horses, uh, that's with Gary Oldman. Oh, it's so good. That's coming back. That's on, I think that's on Apple. And then Reacher, Slow Horses is coming back sometime this month. And then Reacher is coming back in December. So again, I'm just dotting. And I'm just going here and there so it's not all, there's spaces um, of the light as well. It's not all the same because I don't want a solid color. I want it a little bit of a variation. And I'm going to come in and go right in the center again with the dark so that there's just that little bit more distinctive color in the center. And I'm gonna wait to do the, um, I'm gonna wait to do the Wink Estella because I would just spread it all over the place. Now my blog post says that I used the big, the big sister. Stamp and Cut Emboss Machine, because I did for the original, but since I had everything else die cut except for this, I am using the Little Sister, the Baby Machine, the Mini Machine, however you want to call it. Yeah, we finished the fall of the House of Usher the other night. That was very good very creepy that's based on the um edgar Allan poe short story or poem or whatever it was with um is it bruce greenwood is that his name bruce yeah so we are Looking for something else to watch. And I watch stuff on my own when I'm working in that. So there's our adorable little wheelbarrow. So to, um, I'm not scoring this to create that. I'm just going to take 
and fold and oh and you ordered some DSP for her to go with it oh how fun she is going to love that I am sure so I just folded it in half and that creates that rocker and then let's grab our other silicone craft sheets so that I can add some glue. I recently finished watching the last season of Working Moms. I loved that show. It was so funny. So there's our inside. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm leaving the hello off of this. So I am gluing this to the front, opening it up, gluing it down. And my liquid glue gives me that moment extra to make sure that I am fairly straight. Okay, so now we need our dimensionals. So I am using, back to the side, I'm using my baby dimensional that I've got cut for the handle because we don't want that to be saggy at all. Now come in with the regular size dimensionals. And I'm gonna add, I have one baby. Yes, I like dimensionals. <laughs> no judging. <laughs> All right, so give that a press and then let's just pull these off. And that, and then I'm just going to use my fingernail to pull this off. And then I'm using my reverse tweezers so that I can get it in the center without my hand getting in the way. So we are centering that-ish. And before I press it down, I think that looks like it's fairly even. Because of the handle, it goes out a little further, but I'm thinking that looks that looks good. I'm calling it good. Okay. So now I can, please don't blob out on me. I am going to color in all my blooms because they are sparkling with the sunshine. actually have a daylily that has like, well, it's not as much anymore. The um, sparkle edge, I got it from, it doesn't exist anymore. Um, there was a daylily farm years ago in Oshawa, outside of Oshawa called, we're in the hayfield now. And this um, daylily, she was orange, she's orange. And um, her name was Avita. And the edges were ruffled and had this like, it was like gold sparkle. It was so pretty. But because of cross-pollination, she's not quite the same color. But she's still gorgeous. It's so cool when flowers are like that. Right. 
So I've got three little babies here. So in, like I said, instead of the dragonflies, we're going to use the uh, cute little butterflies. So I have this for teeny tiny. I pulled it out of the drawer. I forgot I had it. I got these off of Amazon last year. So all it is is my liquid glue. Come on, I got to get the glue booger out. <laughs> so all it is is a bottle of this is in here so that it's got that really fine tip so that I can, is it gonna come out? I don't wanna do this over. The only problem is I find that it, mine for some reason plugs up easy. Melissa, you've got one of these. Do you have an issue with it? All right. And I don't know if I have a pin anywhere. And I don't think this is. Oh, look at that. Let's dig that out. Okay. Come on. I can't get it and I need I need a, a straight pin and I don't have I don't have one so that's a fail <laughs> so we've got to be so careful because this is a full bottle so we're gonna have our butterfly go one one there one there and let's do one here by the handle instead there okay so you've got one come on And they fly this way and that way as they're flitting about two and three. So cute. So there's two different versions of embellishments. And then of course, this one says hello and then happy birthday on the inside. And this one doesn't have the sentiment on the inside or on the outside. Um, just the happy birthday on the inside. So what do you think? Yes, it makes me think of spring too, Carol, even though we're about to just go into winter. But um, one can dream, right? And very, very cute. Thank you for the inspiration, Carol, for uh, showing that. And they're so fun. Now, if you had that rocking horse set, I don't have that. That would be really adorable with this card. But yeah, that is what I have for you today. It looks equally as cute with the um, brushed brass butterflies as it does with those little dragonflies. Now the brushed brass butterflies are a little bigger, like thicker, the profile, than the... Um, dragonflies now the dragonflies they'll be back in i think the end of november so uh but keep checking ask your demonstrator to keep checking for you but a very fun spring summer inspired birthday card and it wasn't difficult to make at all so grab those circle dies that you have and give it a try let me know if you've made one i would love to know Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Jeannie. All right. So, hey, I've only been just over, I've been 40 minutes. So not too bad at all. 
let me bring those up closer because we don't have zoom here on Facebook so that is what the card looks like I think it's adorable so bright and cheerful instead of happy birthday this could be a thinking of you or any other sentiment you could use any other stamp with it but um, I really like this one here I want to do something with the um, rubber boots they're adorable so that is all for me today you guys thank you so much for joining me have a great rest of your week um, have a great weekend I have some of my team are coming here on Saturday for a watch party we're gonna have fun and eat lots of yummy food um, it's uh, Stampin Up's on stage so it's a virtual event this year, so uh, we're going to be watching it and uh, crafting and having fun together, enjoying crafting with somebody else instead of alone all the time. That's always such a good thing. So, um, yeah, I may be able to post some photos from this weekend, hopefully. So, anyhow, Thank you again. Um, have a great night. And don't forget that um, I will have the blog post that goes with this in about half an hour. If you're watching it on YouTube, it's already up there. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment. And of course, as always, share my video. Sharing is caring and it's how I reach more crafty friends, customers and team members. All right, bye for now.